And we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the third part of the show, we're going to now talk about the head coaches that are on the hot seat um, in the NFL. So, there, I mean, there is a, a decent amount of them that could definitely be on their way out uh, at the end of the year. Um, so we'll kind of go through it right now. Um, so obviously, like you look at some, you know, some of the teams in the NFC, like you got the Bears, um, you know, Matt Eberflus. He's a guy that I could definitely see being let go at the end of the year. Although, listen, the Bears, last couple of weeks, they have been playing better. Their defense has been playing better. I mean, the Montez Sweat trade has really paid off so far. I mean, he, he was all over the place on Monday against the Vikings. So, you know, maybe if the Bears play a lot better and they, you know, win a couple more games, maybe he sticks around. Um, I mean, right now they're four and eight and, uh, you know, I don't really see, I think you need to get an offensive coach. Um, but I, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens, but, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's possible that, you know, he's on his way out. Um, obviously, you know, you got Brandon Staley too, which, you know, we've talked about a bunch of times and just, you know, the Chargers and how they performed this year. A lot of close games they have lost this year. Um, and it just seems like that happens all the time. Um, I mean, really his downfall, it, I mean, listen, I loved his aggressive play calling, you know, his first year. Um, as, you know, so I think some of my friends did as well. But it just got to be a little too much. Because I you go back to, like, I think it was, like, week two against Kansas City. Um in 2021 and like they went for like they went for it on like fourth and seven like a bunch of times and they converted it and you're like wow this is amazing and you got the quarterback to do it obviously with justin herbert but it just got to a point where it was like okay maybe it's a little too much maybe you should take the points and it, it definitely cost them in a lot of games um you know and, and and last year of course you had the uh you know the collapse against the jaguars which Again, I'll be honest, I I wasn't really that excited about it because I was like, we've seen this like so many times. Like, it just, and it's sad to say, I mean, it was, it, listen, credit to Jacksonville for coming back, but I was like, yeah, I've seen this before. Like, I'm not, it doesn't really impress me that much. I mean, yeah, it, I mean, still great, but like, um, I don't know. I just, I was kind of just like, listen, I saw the Patriots do it in the Super Bowl. I, uh, you know, I'm not, I've seen it before, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm looking at it the wrong way, but, uh, but it, again, it shows you how bad, you know, the, the coaching job that Brandon Staley did in the game, you know, um, I mean, it doesn't just fall at his feet. It falls at, you know, the players too, but that was a disaster, but yeah, he, he definitely, he's going to be on his way out. I, I, I think he should be gone after this year. Um, you know, maybe they promote Kellen Moore to be the head coach, um, you know, but they got to, I mean, he's, he's a defensive guy, Brandon Staley, and that defense is not good. Now it did play better on Sunday against the Ravens, um, you know, and, and the offense is, was the problem on Sunday, believe it or not. Um, but yeah, he's another one that should be gone. You know, you also look at Todd Bowles for the Buccaneers, uh, they're four and seven right now. And listen, like, you know, Baker hasn't played bad this year. I think he's been decent for him. But, you know, they, people point to the defenses. You know, listen, you gave up a lot of yards to C.J. Stroud when they came back against them. Um, you know, you really couldn't stop the Colts on Sunday. Todd Bowles is another one that I, I think he's on his way out, too. Because, again, another defensive guy. That's, you know, that's your strength. Um you know, and uh, the defense has not been uh, has not been great uh, this year, at least recently. Um, they've had good games, but you know, like I said, against you know the Colts on Sunday, especially against the Texans, you know, against C.J. Stroud, um, they uh, they did not play up to uh, up to par. So I, I mean, right now they're four and seven. They could still win the division; it's possible. But I think he's he's another head coach that's definitely going to be on his way out. As well, you got Ron Rivera in Washington. I mean, again, that's another that's another situation where they could promote uh, Bieniemy to being the head coach. Maybe that's his way of getting a head coaching job. 
because you know he was brought in to be the offensive coordinator of Washington to help out uh, you know with the development of Sam Howell. And listen, Sam Howell at times has looked really good. Now was not good on Thanksgiving. Did throw for over 300 yards, but um, no touchdowns. Well, he had a rushing touchdown, but no passing touchdowns on Sunday. Um, I think they do have something in Sam Howell. Um, and, you know, Ron Rivera just, you know, he hasn't been great uh, the last couple of years. So um, I think uh, Washington's got to go in a different direction as well. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what the Raiders do. Obviously, they already, you know, let go of Josh McDaniels. But, you know, like, is Antonio Pierce going to be the guy? Um, you know, I don't, I don't know. It's going to be interesting. One of the coaches, now, it's probably not going to happen because, well, I, I think it's, I when I was watching, uh, I think the Michael K show, they said that, like, you know, they're, they're all going to be back. Uh, and that's the, uh, the Jets. So Robert Sala, Nathaniel Hackett, Joe Douglas, like, they'll all be back uh, next year. I think that's what I uh, that's what I heard from yesterday. Um, I don't think Robert Sala is a good coach. I don't. Um, I I thought Brian Dable was a better head coach. Now the Giants actually have been playing better as of late, so at least that reflects well on Dable. Um, but for me, I'm still back to square one with him, especially with how the season started off for the Giants. Um, but when it comes to Robert Sala, I don't look at him as a good head coach. I don't. Um, I look at him as a lot of people do as a very good defensive minded head coach well defensive minded coach so a good defensive coordinator but when it comes to the offense i mean the offense is is a disaster and you, you know i i i th i think they are i mean they are going to give him another year but you know when it comes to the offense i mean what does he what does he know about developing a, developing a quarterback what does he know about you know you know scheming you know putting together an offense. I mean, he really doesn't. I mean, Nathaniel Hackett's not doing a great job either. Um, you know, if Rodgers was playing, I mean, it would obviously the offense would look much better. Um, but it, it just, it, it's not good. It's not good. And, you know, he's got a losing record as a head coach. I mean, this season is spiraling out of control, you know. And, and yeah, he's going to come back one more year with Rodgers, and we'll see how they do, but... I don't know. I mean, I, I feel like you'd have to go in a different direction. Um, you know, or at least I think you'd get rid of Hackett, but they're not going to do that because that's Rodgers' guy. So um, I think if Aaron Rodgers wasn't there and he wasn't planning on coming back, I think, you know, all those, I mean, all those guys are going to be gone. Um, so they got to, they're going to have to do it next year and you got to hope that Rodgers doesn't get hurt. But you got to go and surround him with, you got you got to build a stone wall for him because that offensive line right now is currently constructed would not he would have got hurt again he would have got hurt anyways which I don't like to think about but it's true um, also uh, another head coach within that div well actually two head coaches in that div in that division if you really think about it the only team that at the moment well in ter well in terms of his personality there's a little bit of a question mark maybe with the Dolphins and Mike McDaniel but you could have three new head coaches. Well, actually, well, I just said they're all coming back. But there's three question marks, you know, with the other three teams in the AFC East outside of the Dolphins. You know, the Jets, obviously, they're all coming back. But, again, they might not be – Robert Sala might not be the long-term answer. He might just be here till Rodgers, you know, calls it quits. Um but you also have Belichick, who could be gone, most likely. But now people are saying, well, if the Patriots get the top pick, maybe he stays. Maybe they keep him around. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, but then you got the Bills with Sean McDermott. And I think if the Bills miss the playoffs, I think you got to make the change there. Because this team you know, went from the championship game to the divisional round, although it was, you know, they very easily could have made it to the championship game if it wasn't for, you know, them letting Patrick Mahomes get into field goal range with 13 seconds left in the game. Um, then you got bounced out at home in the divisional round by the Bengals, where you just really were not that competitive in the game. And now you might miss the playoffs. Uh, I, th I think Sean McDermott, he's another guy that, 
you know, especially if the Bills miss the playoffs, he's going to be gone. I think he should be. And you see the last couple weeks, the Bills with, you know, their new offensive coordinator, the offense has looked a lot better. And, you know, Josh Allen was running the football. And again, like, you want to balance it. You don't want to overdo it with Josh Allen. Like, you want him to run the football, obviously, but you don't want him to run it too much where he gets hurt. Because, you know, everybody compares him to Cam Newton. You know, Josh Allen has a better arm than Cam Newton, but, you know, that wear and tear is eventually going to uh, kick in, and, you know, you're not going to be the same player. And, you know, for me, I want to see Josh Allen play for as long as he can because he's a great player when he's right. It's just he has a he has a turnover problem. And that was something that, you know, hurt the Bills on Sunday. Um, you know, that put the Eagles ahead. Obviously, the Bills went down the field and, you know, scored a touchdown to go ahead. But then, you know, the Eagles got into field goal, well, into Jake Elliott's field goal range to tie the game um, in that monsoon. And they lost the game in overtime. I still can't believe Josh Allen is 0-6 in overtime games. That's crazy to think about. Um, but, yeah, if the Bills don't turn it around, Sean McDermott, he's another guy that, um, you know, should be gone. Also, you know, when you look at the NFC South, Arthur Smith, Den- I think Dennis Allen should be gone after this year for the Saints. Um, the Saints just really have not been that good of a team since he's kind of taken over for Sean Payton. Um, I, I think the Saints need to get somebody else. Uh, I, I, I'm very strong on that opinion. I, I think they need they need somebody else. Um, Arthur Smith, I, I mean, you get a better quarterback in there, you know, maybe the team is better. It's just, it's weird how, well, the team definitely will be better if they get a better quarterback. Um, I just think it's weird how, like, he uses his players. Um, you know, like the B. John Robinson stuff, you know, throughout the season, it's been very, like, odd. I don't know. Um, but I, I think, you know, you get a better quarterback in there to work that system. And I think, you know, Falcons could be a decent team. Um, I mean, they got, you know, they're five and six. So it's not like they, you know, and they're leading the division. Um, but you don't look at them as, like, a great team. Uh, they just need, they have the roster. They just, they, they need a quarterback. That's the bottom line. Um, yeah, I don't. I, Mike Vrabel. Uh, I, I don't think. Um, I think he's probably fine. You know, in uh, in Tennessee. Um, I think that's. I, I think that's it. I think I got most of them. I'm trying to think. No, I, I think that's pretty much it. I don't, I don't think anybody else. I don't think anybody in the AFC North is going. No, nobody in the AFC North is going anywhere. Um, I mean, you might see like Mike Tomlin win like Coach of the Year or something. Um, you know, and, and give Stefanski credit, too, with, you know, what's been going on at the quarterback position um, with the Browns. I, yeah, I don't I don't really – I think that's really it. I don't think there's anybody else that I could uh, think of. No, I, I think pretty much everybody is uh, – that was pretty much everybody that, you know, could be uh, gone after this year. So, um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it with this uh, topic this segment so with that we will take our uh, final break of the show and then when we come back uh, we will go through the stat leaders we'll do that for both the nfl and for college as well so stick around and we'll be right back here on the gsmc football podcast 